Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Peter Albrecht. Let's get things started with our top nine stories at nine o'clock on the CW 55. Can you remember where you were 12 years ago tonight? You probably can. Hurricane Ivan made landfall on the Gulf Coast, devastating many areas in and around Pensacola. One of the hardest hit areas was between NAS Pensacola and Big Lagoon State Park. The CW 55's Haley Minogue visited some of the neighborhoods in the area today and talked with people about how they moved forward after Hurricane Ivan. Pensacola 911. Yeah, um, I need to find out if the eye has passed yet. We are up to our waist in water. Um, I just got a call from my sister who is um, there in Pensacola. Uh, they did not get evacuated. She's in a trailer park. Their trailer has just been cut in half. She's screaming. She wants to leave. The roof is coming in on us. We're going to die in this house if we don't get some help. Today, it's quiet. Leanne and Bob sat outside reading the paper. It's not dated this year. Actually, they say it feels like it wasn't even this lifetime. Looked like a war zone over there. Their roof was damaged, trees uprooted. For a few weeks, their lives were uprooted. Yeah, it was several months. Oh, absolutely. It was probably uh, two, three, four weeks before mm -hmm. we even got power back. Mm -hmm. They fixed their home and everyone was safe. Their community grew closer through the destruction. And people just came together. Um, where we had never, we just never known them, had known any of them before, and so we have lasting friendships for a long time. But we are very, very close. It's hard to believe. Less than a half a mile down the road, a community still bears the scars of Hurricane Ivan. It's amazing to me because I wasn't living here during Ivan, but for almost everyone who was in this neighborhood, it was like it happened yesterday. We had a 52-foot sailboat behind here, and. Uh, Anyway, it took out the whole side of the house. There's still several empty lots just like this one here in Grand Lagoon. Neighbors say that they serve as a reminder of the destruction that can come in off the Gulf. There's a few lots out there you see that, that this still had the slabs and the pylons that, uh, that are still reminders, you know, that this place was devastated. One neighbor even said she can't fear a storm taking everything again when it was all taken already. As far as being petrified that another storm is going to wipe me out again. There's most of my personal property and memories that I had from my children when they were little are gone, so I have to go through that again. After Ivan, some rebuilt, but many left and never looked back. We've lost a lot of neighbors too, you know, that was good, good friends back then, but they're new neighbors and, you know, it's, it's built up better and stronger than before. Reporting in Pensacola, Haley Minogue, the CW55 News at 9. Hurricane Ivan killed more than a dozen people in Florida. It is the sixth costliest U.S. Atlantic hurricane, causing $18.8 billion in damage. NAS Pensacola took a beating from Ivan, including planes at the Naval Aviation Museum. Trees littered the cemetery on base, and the barracks were also damaged. More than 5,000 Navy personnel were evacuated ahead of the storm, but they were back soon after to help clean up the base and get things back to normal. That was a scary, scary night, Alan, when Ivan was barreling down on really the entire region, all the way from the Alabama.